Hello everybody and welcome to my 16th PHP tutorial and this tutorial is going to teach you how to nest for loops together. Uh, so when you nest for loops it just has one loop kind of looping inside the other loop to create a double loop uh, kind of with multiple dimensions. So I'm going to use it to write out a table. Uh, so I'm going to be using HTML uh, table uh, tags uh, and if you're not sure how to use these then I'll put the link to my HTML tutorial uh, on tables but uh, in the description below um, so I'm going to put echo table and then echo and then the end of my table down here and then make sure you've got your semicolon so it'll mess everything up and I'm going to put in my for loop uh, and I'm going to use dollar x equals one semicolon and then the x is less than or equal to 10 and then dollar x plus plus close off my brackets stick in my curlies uh, and then in here we want to put in our table rows so uh, table row semicolon echo table row semicolon and then in between our table rows we're going to need our table data so to do them I'm going to put out another for loop so for and then I'm going to put dollar y equals one semicolon y is less than or equal to 10 semicolon and then dollar y plus plus close bracket like in our curlies uh, and then in here uh, is going to be our table datas so to start off with, I want to put in table data. So I'm just going to copy these because all I'm going to do is change the D. Uh, D and then D. Uh, and then in here, we put whatever we want in our table. So I'm going to do echo and then $x times $y. So I'm just going to multiply the x by the y. So this is going to give us a little bit of a multiplication table. Uh, so let's bring across our website and refresh. Uh, and then you'll see that it's gone down the um, down through the x's, uh, which would have created all the different rows. And then each time it does a row, it's going to go across and do all the table data at the same time. And it gives us a bit of a multiplication table. Uh, so I imagine you'll probably find that you use nested for loops like that quite often because uh, they're useful for presenting data out like that really quickly. Uh, and um, just bear in mind that you can have as many for loops as you want so you can kind of start going three dimensional on things uh, or even eight dimensional if you're feeling a little bit crazy. Um, th that's going to be it for uh, for loops and uh, the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to use arrays so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon